We're living in a time where there's excellent technology and problems are being solved constantly. The trick is to make sure that we're solving the right problems and we're solving them in the best way that we can so that we can reach out and help the greatest number of people. Before I came to BYU, I didn't even know that there was so much engineering that went into the medical world, that somebody has to build each device that a doctor uses, and, and that building has to come from engineers and from scientists. I'm Sarah Taylor. I'm Cameron Taylor. And, and we, we are, are the why. why. We had a couple of classes together. I got up and I walked down a few armrests and plopped down next to her and asked her to just to go on a date. I was very surprised. I was not expecting anyone to show up right behind me like that. <laughs> I think that we become a lot more effective when we're working together. We catch each other's mistakes and suggest other ways to do it and ask questions that we wouldn't have asked in class. This is a micro filter. This will hopefully be used to filter somebody's blood. We would want a lab on a chip and take out viruses or bacteria from the blood in order to make somebody healthier quicker. During the project, my sister got sepsis, which is blood poisoning. It was a very scary experience because you can die quite quickly from that. Gratefully, she got better. But in realizing that I can build something that could potentially help and solve this problem and make life better and make it easier for somebody like my sister to have her blood filtered and cleaned, it's pretty fascinating that I can be a part of that. The opportunities here that we've had to do research have been very beneficial to us. Yeah, we really feel like we have a step up on the competition when it comes to graduate school from going to BYU because we've learned the research process. When I started researching with Dr. Long, I immediately felt like I was a graduate student. We take radar backscatter and we compute the near ocean surface wind speed vectors. Those are used for predicting the weather and for helping with shipping routes. It's an amazing opportunity when you suddenly realize what you're doing in your research, that it's gonna be put on a satellite or put in a hospital where someone's actually gonna use it and it's gonna change someone's life. I've been fortunate enough to contribute to the scientific community. And without the donors, that sort of process wouldn't have even happened. If it weren't for the help from donors, we would just be working with theory. But we're actually able to see how to apply these things in a practical setting. We're on our way to becoming an influence for good in the world. We hope to be working on the newest cutting edge technology that makes life happier and easier for people.